Hi guys, I'm Stevie and this is Whiskey. Do you want to talk about breakups today? Do you want to talk about exes? Listen, Whiskey, neither do I, okay? But we have to do it. It's what the people want. Hi guys, I'm Stevie. You might know me as one of the only people on YouTube teaching queer sex ed as a way to combat our terrible education system. And some of you may know me as someone who once dated Schmally Schmales. So here's a video about why me and my ex will not be getting back together. First of all, I asked her if she wanted to and she said no, so. Second of all, we're really not compatible. You wrote down on a dry erase board. Yeah, I know. All of the things I had ever done wrong in the whole relationship and then threw it across the room. <laughs> this is the dry erase board. This is the floor. Bullshit. I went like this. No, I didn't. And you no, fucked it one time. I did that. Didn't and because my writer is making me make horoscope jokes all the time, she's a Sagittarius and I'm a Cancer. Apparently that's incompatibility central. Well, I love with my entire body and soul. I'm full of love. Also, if you're mad at me, I don't want to speak to you or love you anymore. Even if your reasons make sense, because it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm like low-key mad 68% of the time. And then high-key mad the rest of it. But why can't you guys just try a little harder to get along? Sometimes I feel like a newborn baby with a soft head. Also, guys, we gotta talk. Everyone who follows either one of us is commenting on literally everything we post about each other for two years. We've been working up for two years. On a video about something completely irrelevant. On a photo of me with another person. It's just a question. It's really hard to be going through a difficult and low-key traumatizing point in your life while thousands of people are calling you names and begging you for answers. Who cheated on who? When are you getting back together? Why'd you break up? You cheated on her, didn't you, Stevie? If she kills herself, it's your fault. Some of you even send messages to people you think I'm dating and tell them to leave me alone and or die. Like, holy shit. The last two years in my comment section has been a goddamn dumpster fire. This is actually a great time to talk about the video's sponsor. Better help. I have about a million anxieties about sitting in front of a person and talking about my feelings. So I wanted to talk to someone online or via text and that's how I found better help. I'm so grateful I was able to find someone who understands polyamory, queer stuff, being an online influencer, and also my mountains of childhood trauma that's a little on the side, you know? Also, I love firing people and when the first therapist that I found on there made me feel weird, I just clicked by and then she left. It was great. But people were legitimately mean to me when my ex and I broke up. And it felt impossible because on one hand, I didn't want to like be shitty and share our personal stuff on the internet. And on the other hand, it was so shitty because no one knew what the hell was going on. I needed a third party, AKA a counselor or therapist to like be an objective party in being able to help me. To look at the situation and validate my feelings. Started to feel a little bit out of my mind if I'm honest. Anyway, if this, if you're looking for any type of counselor like that, click the link in the description. Go through the sign up that takes not even that long and you'll be linked to a therapist in like 24 hours. I don't want to get back together with my ex, but if you're considering it, I made up some rules. Call me Dua Lipa, except they're different rules. They're different ones. Ugh, I don't really like rules, but I think the best way to get back with your ex is to show up at their house unexpected. I think the best way to do it is to keep them deep in your heart. And then if you're both around other people, bring up really personal things so that they know that you know them better than any other person on the planet. I'm still with my ex. Today marks the day that I fire my writer for putting horoscope clones in my videos. Danielle, you're fired. Rule number one, if you're getting back together with your ex, you better finish all your old fights. Or you're gonna be two spoonfuls into a bowl of Captain Crunch and y'all be screaming at each other about how you fucked a mutual friend the day after you broke up and your ex is fucking your son's ex-wife. Yeah, I'm still mad about that. Today is a new day, baby. I don't even know what day it is. Free love. If you don't hash out everything you're soft mad about, you're gonna end up being hard mad about all of those things all over again. Your ex straight up broke your heart. You don't wanna be walking around sulking about a broken heart when you're technically in a new relationship you should be building and concentrating on. You have to talk about it. Or when you hit one tiny little low point, you'll feel like you're being haunted by ghosts of ex Christmas pasts. The ghost of Christmas past exes. No one breaks up for no reason. No one's like in a great relationship and is like, hey, this is going great, let's break up. I do. Well, it's not no reason. It's a reason I feel deep in my bones. And then six years later, I realize what was actually going on. 
Okay, some people break up for no reason. And if you did, fine, get back together then. But two people can be really fucking amazing and still incompatible with each other. Allie and I are friends and we're really good friends if we're hanging out all the time or not because we loved each other through some of the hardest points in each other's lives. We learned a lot about ourselves and what kind of relationships we do want because we were together. And we also ended up being assholes together because that's what happens when you're incompatible as fucking fuck and you try to make things work anyway. Because you love each other. Spoiler, if you love each other, maybe you could be really good friends. It's hard because I'm in love with all of my friends. I want to fuck all my friends too. Those are two different things. Actually, you're two different things, so. <laughs> I am one thing. I am pure love. Okay, starting to see what happened here. Anyway, get back together with your ex. Or don't. I don't care what you do. Check out BetterHelp to get some counseling on either of those choices. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so, so, so much to my patrons for continuing to support me. Literally being a lesbian means I can't make money off my YouTube videos, so. LOL, LOL, LOL. If you want a shout out or some lube, click the Patreon link in the description so we can become one with each other. Thanks to Logan, Casey, and Juliet for being my shout out patrons for this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Love you with all of my loins. Bye. Doot 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 doot. Does that work, Moonshine?